Hello, and welcome back to The Witness. In the last episode, we got the laser from the monastery up and working. And we are now in the keep that is located directly across from the monastery. And um, we are looking at a, ooh, a lookout spot. Um, We're looking at different kinds of puzzles here, where the other puzzles so far had been small and relatively easy to comprehend because you just have to go up to the um, table to activate them. Now we have life-sized puzzles, which of course changes things up a bit. We are also on the lookout for audio recordings if we can find such if now if i was cheeky i would place one very close to the edge of these bushes it's fairly hard to see but it's still a liable hiding place the good thing is that the audio recordings are fairly easy to spot if you haven't collected them already as they grow glow in a green light Something that is quite handy. And I've also discovered that you can actually revisit and um, old audio recordings to listen to them again. So theoretically, we could go back on the boat and listen to the audio recordings that we, the, the one that we happen to click away from. But I don't really want to do that. I mean, it could be interesting to hear what it has to say, but so far they are more collectibles more than they are um, helping me out in the game. Among men that so, I have known let's see what this one has in store they for see us. Your pictures in all works of mine. They come and ask me, who is he? I know not how to answer them. I say, indeed, I cannot tell. They blame me, and they go away in scorn. And you sit there, smiling. I put my tales of you into lasting songs. The secret gushes out from my heart. They come and ask me, tell me all your meanings. I know not how to answer them. I say, ah, who knows what they mean? They smile and go away in utter scorn. And you? Sit there smiling. Rabindranath Tagore, 1910. Hmm, it's a relatively recent one. Still not sure what it means though. So, as you see, the puzzle here does not have a starting point. That means that, try as we might, we don't have a way to activate it. We do, however, have a starting point here. Now, I wonder... Hmm. So, I need to go... The starting point is here, so if I go up here, around here, get this blocker, down here, 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 and all the way around. That should work. Okay, so let's see uh, up to the first corner, left, then right twice, then left twice. Hmm. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah. Right. So around here. Through here. Down here. Take the blocker. All the way around. I mean, you could cut, cut across, but I think that... 
Haha! It opened the door! I don't really... This guy looks like Agent uh, Smith from uh, The Matrix with a sword. Hmm. Okay, so this is essentially the same, but now it's with black and white boxes. Okay, and those need to be separated, of course. Wait, isn't this... Ooh, the glass is broken over there. Huh. What does that mean, I wonder? Hmm. It might mean that I have to... Yeah, because this won't activate. Okay, then we shall... Not that it really matters to avoid the starting point, because, well, it's the starting point. Okay. So we cannot go all the way up. But if we go, like, here and here, we will have separated these two. Then we can go here, all the way up. Yep. And I... Hmm, apart from that there, I don't think anything else is broken, so that might just be what we have to do. Oh, these sink down. Uh, maybe the... Uh, the orange ones did as well, but... Hmm, it's black. Wonder if it's still active. Uh, let's see. So we want to cut off... Something like this. No. Hmm, what's over here? Uh, items that used to hold stuff. Ooh, the battlements. Hmm, and that's where we were in the boat a few episodes ago. Do you think there is an audio recording up here? Oh! Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Outside. Oh, so we actually do have access to this one, and it does have. Well, we can't solve this one right now. At least I don't think I can because I don't know how to deal with if a man um, the Tetris blocks in puzzles in as of yet. Persuaded of afterwards, keeps down and pushes away any doubts which arise about it in his mind. Purposely avoids the reading of books and the company of men that call into question or discuss impious those questions which cannot easily be asked without disturbing it. The life of that man is one long sin against mankind. But, says one, I am a busy man. I have no time for the long course of study which would be necessary to make me in any degree a competent judge of certain questions, or even able to understand the nature of the arguments then he should have no time to believe. William K. Clifford, 1874. Hmm. Oh, do you see that? That is a puzzle, if I saw one. Obviously, it needs to be solid for it to work. So that would be something like this, maybe? 
Mm. Solid and aligned. Uh, why doesn't it work when I'm... Can I get up on the couch? For that to work, maybe? There's probably a pattern in the water down there, but, well, I don't see an access point to it right now. What I do see, however, is these rolling hills. And a shipwreck, of course, but... Ah! The other side of the swamp. I was wondering if this was accessible and figured that it probably was but as we were in the boat i couldn't exactly see where to go now i don't see any wires here and that likely means that there are no puzzles that needs my attention however what there is here is likely a audio recording for me to collect, and that is what I'm looking for. Hmm. Can we? Uh, no. All right. This would definitely not be safe to do in. In real life, it's probably old, broken down, half rusted shipwrecks are a liability and a safety hazard just waiting to for someone to uh, activate. Essentially, that that looks very pretty though with the uh, plants that have taken over where the ship is falling apart. Hmm. I don't think there is access over to the other side. Oh, can I? No, I thought I could, but it seems I cannot. All right, let's head into the... Hmm? An audio recording would be fairly easy to spot in here. It's fairly dark and after all, they do have their glow to start with. Hmm. Yeah, with how rusty this is, I would definitely not uh, be move, be daring to move about on uh, on an old shipwreck like this. Hmm. Access to the upper level here is broken. Okay. A ship owner Bridge. was about to send to sea an it. emigrant ship. Oh, he knew aha, she was old I knew it. and not well built at the first. That she had seen many seas and climes, and often had needed repairs. Doubts had been suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. These doubts preyed upon his mind and made him unhappy. He thought that perhaps he ought to have her thoroughly overhauled and refitted, even though this should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he succeeded in overcoming these melancholy reflections. He said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages and weathered so many storms that it was idle to suppose she would not come safely home from this trip also. He would put his trust in Providence, which could hardly fail to protect all these unhappy families that were leaving their fatherland to seek for better times elsewhere. 
he would dismiss from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of builders and contractors. In such ways, he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was thoroughly safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart and benevolent wishes for the success of the exiles in their strange new home that was to be. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that he was verily guilty of the death of those families. It is admitted that he did sincerely believe in the soundness of his ship, but the sincerity of his conviction can in no wise help him, because he had no right to believe on such evidence as was before him. He had acquired his belief not by honestly earning it in patient investigation, but by stifling his doubts. And although in the end he may have felt so sure about it that he could not think otherwise, yet inasmuch as he had knowingly and willingly worked himself into that frame of mind, he must be held responsible for it. William K. Clifford, 1874. I mean, he's not wrong, but... So why does he appear twice with wisdom? Words of thought. It's a good question. I might have to look up who that William K. Clifford is after the fact, but it's definitely not someone that I'm familiar with at this point of recording this. All right, well, it seems there isn't more to do down here, so... Let's head back up and see if we can't get the uh, black and white box puzzle right. Mm. So what did we do wrong? Ah! Ha! See here? These black boxes that were here are in the same box as the white ones down here. Which of course cannot do. As that breaks what these black boxes are about. So let's go over and reset it. Hopefully it does not go over and um, turns itself off. But the basic idea was actually correct in what we were doing. So round here, up here, round here Still the same, no need to change there. Then we go... And then we cut off here and... Ah! Lovely! So, really, it didn't do much since it was a place that we had already had access to. But you never know when you need it. Um, since I can't... I don't know about the... Um, Oh, didn't expect to be able to climb this. Uh, since I don't know what to do with the uh, Tetris block puzzle, uh, I'm not going to try and solve it since I'm literally uh, without a clue as to what to do. But I am certain that this place has more to offer, as seen by the uh, hedge mazes here. And there's also something over here. Okay, let's follow the wire and see where it connects up. So, it is somewhat within here. I believe I shall have to enter the maze to find out. Honestly, if it was just a... Uh, if it was just um, a game about hedge mazes, I'd totally play that. Hmm. Let's... You know what? When it comes to hedge mazes like this, there is a surefire way of solving them, which is following either the right or the left wall. Let's go for the right one. So you will hug the right wall and if you come to a corner, you will follow it around. This may be a bit of a long winded way of dealing with these things, but it works with most hedge mazes. 
not all, there are a few that are constructed with this solution in mind. But, lo and behold, oh, hey, why is that one shaped like that? Did someone take a... Did someone take a chainsaw and just... Hmm, this seems important, the fact that it, it's missing a corner, not just to make it fit. Okay. Ah, so I'm supposed to retrace my steps. Well, okay. Um... Ah, hold on. So this way, this way. So that's a turn. So that means that, yeah, that's the corner up there. So follow through here and then past the first one. So that would be this and then up there. All right, I got it. Aha! Oh, and it allows me to get out here. Not that that really is useful, uh, but it's a it's a nice touch. Okay, um, let's follow the left wall just to shake things up. Huh. Really? That's supposed to be the uh, the answer. Mm. That seems too easy. But maybe it is. I mean, we can go that way. So, right. Let's uh, see if that does work. It probably doesn't. No. But at least it doesn't turn off. All right. Well then. I wonder what the solution here could be then. Could it be that we should follow where there's no tall grass? Possibly? Yes, I think that is the solution actually. Yeah, that seems like it. Okay, uh, okay, so we go down to, so that's here. Yeah, because, and then we go, tracing it backwards here, uh, go around like this, follow through here, so that's all the way around, turn, okay, so this is the entrance point, all right, so we turn right immediately, left, right, right, Left, left, and then straight, and right. Okay. So... Ah, like this, 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 and this! Ho ho! Hooray! Puzzle solving. Hmm. Have I been up here? I don't think so, because I would have definitely have made a remark about that. Is that a... Hmm. Looks like someone either tried to make a barbecue up here, or it was an old uh, tar cauldron for defense purposes. Oh. Okay, that's a cool looking area, but I don't have access to it yet. Mm -hmm. What's on the other side then? We yep. probably shouldn't be sprinting through, honestly, because I could be missing audio recordings, and well, that would be a shame since I've sort of set my mind to Is that black powder. In the traditional, looks like a man, like you stand like this. He is autonomous in the sense mm. that his behavior is. <laughs> That view, together with its associated practices, must be re-examined when a scientific analysis reveals unexpected controlling relations between behavior 
and environment. By questioning the control exercised by autonomous man and demonstrating the control exercised by the environment, a science of behavior also seems to question dignity or worth. A person is responsible for his behavior, not only in the sense that he may be justly blamed or punished when he behaves badly, but also in the sense that he is to be given credit and admired for his achievements. A scientific analysis shifts the credit as well as the blame to the environment, and traditional practices can then no longer be justified. These are sweeping changes, and those who are committed to traditional theories and practices naturally resist them. As the emphasis shifts to the environment, the individual seems to be exposed to a new kind of danger. Who is to construct the controlling environment, and to what end? Autonomous man presumably controls himself in accordance with a built-in set of values. He works for what he finds good. But what will the putative controller find good? And will it be good for those he controls? Answers to questions of this sort are said, of course, to call for value judgments. B.F. Skinner, 1971. Not a bad advice, a bit cryptic, but then again, philosophy is cryptic. <clears throat> right, we are a little short for time because I have listened to the audio recordings, but let's see what this maze is about. So, hmm, there are no obvious signs as of yet where to go. Hmm. What could be the showing display for this one? Hmm. Shadows would be an obvious choice, but I don't think that would help. Hmm. And I didn't see that... There was much to see from up above. Mm. This one might be tricky. Unless the clue is outside rather than inside. Uh, these bushes could contain the answer, but I don't think that they do. Hmm. How to... how to... That doesn't explain anything, and this doesn't either. Ooh. There are small lines that poke through there and there, but... Hmm, they are also here, so I assume that uh, the stalks of these hedges and I can't get access to that puzzle over there until I have cleared this one out. Hmm. Well, let's uh, try the old faithful and just have it go all around. That was not it. Uh, like this. No. Mm. Maybe the layout is what is triggering. So let's see. Um, one, two, that fits. What if we go like this and then like this? So that would be like... Uh, No. Hmm. Huh. Obviously, there must be something that could give me a hint to how to solve this. 
And I don't believe it's in the clouds. Maybe from the top there, but that seems to be where the laser is point is at, which probably doesn't help. So hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I did not expect to be able to do this, but uh, well, some puzzles can be taken from afar. This was apparently one of them. Hmm. It is interesting, but I hmm, I will definitely look for a solution around here, but we are pretty much out of time for this episode, so hmm, can I walk now? I thought I could be cheeky and walk upon the... There must be some sort of indicator somewhere, like a set of branches gathered up in a certain manner, somewhere. Hmm. Uh, could it be that... Hmm. I don't think it is the uh, clayish dirt or whatever that is, but it might be worth a try. Let's see, so that would go here. Mm, then... Here, uh, maybe here, around, and up here, and nope, that's, hmm, it, it might have some significance. So let's see, uh, if that is, if we regard that as true, so we go here, go here, hmm. Both of these have protruding clay. This one has on all sides. This one does not have here, so I don't think we'll be going through here. But this one has here, and this one has here, around here. That could work. Okay, so what was it? It was... Okay. So that would be um, like so, 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 so. Uh, okay, it was not that. Was it above them? Do I need to go around this one? Yeah, I think I might have to. All right, let's try that. So go up here, round, all the way around, round here, up here, up here, up here. And let's try this. Nope. All right, and we'll go down after the fact. I have no idea if this is the right solution. This is merely a shot in the dark that I'm trying out, and it was wrong. Bugger. Hmm. All right, in the next episode, we shall uh, continue our voyage through the hedges of this keep. But until then, take care.